Hello, and you join me in my garage. Now I have two problems. One, the key snapped off in the barrel of my Kawasaki ZXR400. Wasn't too much of a problem because I got the key out. However, it wouldn't unlock and it wouldn't come off key lock. So I bought a new barrel, no problem at all. Then lies problem number two. I no longer have a motorcycle shop, which means I've got to do everything myself. Now I can do it, but I don't like doing it. I'd rather have someone else do it and pay them to do it. But I thought, no, I'll do it because it's not that much of an issue. It's two bolts underneath and then plug and play with the two wires. <laughs> Kawasaki and their uh, safety type stuff um, from 1991. Brilliant. So, once I'd got over that and realised I've got to do it myself, um, the biggest problem, you undo the two bolts that screw it in. However, because the lock was on, that means the little nubbin thing was already in the frame. So, to get it out, I had to ideally move the steering, which is difficult when that little nubbin thing is in the frame. So, firstly, I tried to muller this and see if I could turn it off the lock anyway didn't happen gave it a good walloping with uh, a clarkson style hammer didn't work either um managed to um prise it off the frame and then ram the um uh, handlebars round without doing any damage thankfully enough to be able to prise it away from the frame and push it out however here lies the next problem the wire for it goes through the frame through there and then underneath the airbox. Now I can't even see the plug to know exactly where under the airbox it is. But to get to the airbox, first of all, you have to take the seat off, then the side panels, then the tank, then the airbox. Why? Seriously, why can't I just have a little hole at the side and I can just sort of negotiate it and clip and job done? But no, nothing is easy, is it? So right now I've undone the seat. I've undone the tank. I haven't taken the side panels off because I thought I could cheat and try and prise these apart and get it out, but that isn't going to happen because I'm going to end up snapping them. I know that. So I'm going to have to undo them, undo that, take that seat off just to get these side panels off before I can get the tank off and then make sure I uh, take the... And I have turned the fuel off. Uh, to make sure I uh, take the uh, fuel line off, get the tank out of the way, which is full of petrol, obviously. Um... And then get the airbox off just to get to those bloody wires. Ridiculous. I hate bikes. I, I, I love them, but I hate them. Okay, so there's the new ignition barrel and there's the old ignition. So it's off. However, I've discovered another little issue. It's not a massive issue, but it is an issue. That is the correct connector, but that blue connector there leads to the white wire, which seems to have been chopped off this old one for some reason. I don't know why, but it's connected to a separate wire in that blue connector down there. And then that's the earth. I think I'm gonna to have to do the same because I don't wanna investigate why. I don't wanna plug it all in and find out why that isn't working. So I'm just gonna cut the white wire off this one, off the new one here at the back and uh, put a bullet connector on it and connect that up to the original port because it seemed to work before so there we go so now comes the rerouting and the connecting and putting back together well in true me style that is the connector i am after to go in there and in my connection boxes that's the only one i don't have any of and they just rattle around inside unbelievable it's just my bloody luck it's just me all over this is and of course that is tight in there, so I can't even get to it to snip it off and put another connector on. This is just ridiculous. I hate bikes so much. Okay, so the wires are in and connected and I've not bodged it at all. Just found a smaller connector and closed up the other one. 
very, very tightly. Um, so, moment of truth. Ignition on. Yes. That's good. All right, make sure we get a start. Yeah, okay, excellent. Right, now to put the bike back together. Yes, I managed to uh, lay the tank on there without taking the uh, pipes off because I noticed a slight weepage and I thought, no, nope, I'm not going to end up with fuel everywhere. So let's reassemble the bike and see if it works. Okay, I'm not going to call it uh, schoolboy error. I want to call it exactly what it is. Complete and utter bell endery. In my rush to get the cables through and connected, I didn't pass them down through here first, which means I can't get that through there. Which means I've got to take it off again. I can't believe this. I'll tell you what, the ball like I had getting that white wire out, uh, there has to be another way of doing it. Oh, I can't believe this. This is just my piss and luck. What a dickhead. I undo the connector, take off the, la the uh, earth wire. I could... Mm, I wonder if I can pull that white wire through, cut it about here, put a new connector in here and tape that up. So, oh, I wonder. Hmm. Um, I know it's... But I'm not going to be able to get that in again otherwise. That was a one-way thing. And that isn't coming out unless I completely replace it. And I don't want to do that. Because I just... That is at a stretch already. So I can't really do anything else. I can't get down there to cut it without taking the airbox off the carbs. And I really, really don't want to do that. Because that means jamming them back on again afterwards. I don't want to take the carbs off. Do you know what? I've cheated. I've taken the end off, um, taken the connector off, remembering it goes across that way, and I can take that out, pass the wire through, and then connect it at the other end. <laughs> Let's hope it works. Want to put it back together again? My wife's brought me out some homemade burgers. Lovely. Yeah. And of course, in true me style, that doesn't work because it's been hit by the Kawasaki bug. And that is that this does not fit through the bloody hole. Oh, hang on, doesn't need to go through the hole. Right, that is now that rerouted and that can go back up in there like so. But before we do, moment of truth again, please tell me I haven't messed it up. Can't really mess it up because it's not difficult. Yes, excellent. <laughs> I did a thing. Typical, isn't it? Now the food's arrived, the supervisor's turned up. Can I help you in some way? Hello? Any words? Apart from, where's my bit of burger? No? Okay, stay silent. Fair enough. Me? Nicely. That wasn't very nicely, was it? You hit my nail. I'll try that again, shall we? Now, one more time. Nicely. All right. <laughs> Me and indeed Al. So, everything's back together as far as I want to for now. Before I put all the panels back on and everything else, I want to make sure... The ignition works and it starts. Now, bearing in mind, this bike hasn't been started for a month. So, fingers crossed. Let's see how it goes. Hasn't started for a month, it's not bad. Don't stand in front of the camera. Okay. The one you're standing in front of. There, there. That one? Yes. Why?
So it needs time to warm up like it always did. And it also needs a damn good run. I feel one of them coming on tomorrow. What do you reckon? So because I just can't leave it alone and I want to make sure it runs right, let's give it another go. It needs a good run. So, Patrick's made me a cup of tea. It's very nice. Um, I'm hoping it doesn't need a, uh, a carb strip. I think a good run will solve the issue. I, I hope a good run will solve the issue because it hasn't been started for about a month. And you really should start these once a week. And I just haven't had time with everything that's going on. I have not had time to do anything on the ignition. So, let's hope a run sorts it out. Not too tight. When you feel it get tight, you just do it a tiny bit more. And that brings me to the end of this episode. Thank you very much for watching. I'll be back. I've got to keep, I've got to stop looking over here because that's where the record button is. The camera's over there. So thank you very much for joining me. I'll be back next time with something else. So until next time, please ride and drive carefully, but have fun. Oh, and just for the uh, ones that love it. Cheerio. Thank you.